Hey, it's Dave from No Rest Be Required, and I am super excited today because I've got another great video with you working with certified steak and seafood. They sent me some, uh, some wonderful ribeyes. Um, I just pulled them out of the freezer this morning, let them thaw out in the fridge. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to show you what a wonderful product this can be. We'll do a, a, a quick sear uh, in the grill pan, um, cook them to perfection. And then I've got a chimichurri sauce, which is a uh, kind of an herb, garlic, vinaigrette, uh, real common in Latin America cuisine, and goes absolutely perfect with these ribeyes. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got our ribeyes here from Certified Steak. Now these are uh, these ribeyes, one of my absolute favorite cuts. I like to um, take mine out of the freezer, put them in the fridge in the morning of the day I'm going to cook them, and then about half an hour before I want to cook them, just pull them out of the package, and then give it a quick pat down with some paper towel, remove any of that extra moisture, and then use that half an hour to get them up to room temperature before we start cooking them. I just unwrapped my steaks, and while they are coming up to temperature, room temperature, let's go ahead and make our chimichurri sauce. What I've got here is equal parts cilantro and parsley, and uh, you, know, you can throw other green herbs in here as well. I've seen mint in there, uh, basil, it'll all be absolutely fabulous. Um, four cloves of garlic. There's about maybe a quarter cup each of parsley and cilantro. A few good grinds of fresh ground black pepper and salt in there. And then we're going to add some olive oil. You really kind of want enough to make the chimichurri sauce pretty loose between olive oil and I've got some red wine vinegar. And yeah, this really, it's you know, oil, vinegar, herbs, not much different than a vinaigrette, but it's got that great herbaceous, garlicky flavor to it. We're going to go ahead and pulse this until it's smooth, and then uh, we'll come back. You may have to um, come in and scrape down the sides a couple times to make sure it's all uh, pushed down in the blades. But what you're looking for is, like I said, a pretty loose consistency. You're going to get that vibrant green color. You want to give it a little taste? And you could get, hmm. You know, that freshness from the garlic, tanginess from the, uh, from the vinegar, and obviously the bite from the garlic. This is going to be great for our, uh, for our ribeye steaks. My steaks are up to room temperature. I'm about five minutes away from putting them on my, uh, on my grill pan. So I'm going to season them with salt and pepper, always salt and pepper. And then um, in addition, for ribeye steaks, I kind of like putting a little rub on, uh, on the ribeyes. Because I think the uh, you know a little bit of extra fat there, I think can handle some extra flavor. What I've got is equal parts brown sugar, chili powder, and cumin, and I just sprinkle that right on the steak. I'm going to do both sides, kind of rub it in there. I don't like to go too too heavy, just a little hint. And then once I have both sides seasoned, I'm just going to coat a thin layer of olive oil right over the top and uh, we'll be ready to grill. So when you've got steaks that are less than an inch thick like this, you want to really, really get your grill pan or uh, your grill, however you're cooking them, super, super hot because you want to get a good sear on both sides before cooking the steak more than, say, medium rare or however you want it cooked. I like my medium rare. So I'm going to lay them down. I'm going to not touch them for a good um, about two minutes or so. Then we're going to flip them. We're going to flip them once, and um, we'll be really close to done. It's been about two minutes, and um, it's time to turn our steaks over. So you're gonna flip them over and get those nice grill marks. The way to get that is by leaving it alone and using a nice hot pan. They're not gonna take that much longer to cook. I'm gonna do it all on the stove top here. If they were much thicker, I might stick them into the oven, um, like a 500 degree oven, let it go for a little bit longer. Now, the chimichurri, I like to spread kind of right on top here. I don't really cook the chimichurri or um, you lose some of that freshness. I'm just going to lay it right on the steaks and kind of let it seep in a little bit as it cooks these final two or three minutes. And then we can always put a little bit of fresh on the, um, on the plate as well. Okay, so after another two or three minutes, our steaks are going to be done. So I'm just going to pull them off onto a cutting board, let them rest for a good um, three or four minutes to let those juices settle before we slice into them. Okay, so we've got this perfectly cooked now ribeye with chimichurri sauce from Certified Steak. Beautifully tender, beautifully cooked, and I will see you next time on No Recipe Required.